welcome or welcome back to my channel i am back with another travel vlog for you guys so i am getting ready to head up to minneapolis for a day trip to paisley park and i am so ridiculously excited if you know me in real life then you know that i am the biggest prince fan like i absolutely love that man know every prince song there's no song that you cannot play for me that is made by Prince that I do not know. So as a, I guess, a continuation of my birthday celebration month, because it is, at the time I'm recording this video, it's September 16th. So definitely still in that 30 day window where I'm still celebrating my birthday. I decided to take a day trip up there to check out Paisley Park because I have never been before. And I didn't get a chance to see him in concert when he was alive, which absolutely crushed my soul. So I figured now is a good time as any to head on up there and check out Paisley Park, take a tour of the entire facility, and spend some time up in Minneapolis as well. So my flight leaves at 7.40. My mom is on her way to pick me up. She didn't stay at my house this time. I have my bag already packed and I am ready to go. So let's head out. Okay y'all, we made it, flight just landed. We are deboarding and we are going to go get the rental car so that we can go get something to eat. It was only an hour flight, super smooth, super chill. So, yep. Ears still having pops, so. Oh, baby's ears having pops. You guys, this is my sister. It's her debut on my channel. You guys haven't met her before. Okay, y'all, so we just found a restaurant to get something to eat. Um, it was about 10 minutes away from the airport. We got the rental car. We made it to the restaurant safely. So we just had a pretty interesting time trying to figure out <laughs> what everybody wants to eat. And y'all know, I've been doing a lot of solo travel this year. So like traveling with, even though I love my family, it is different from traveling by myself. So, But yeah, we just ordered our food. We're gonna get some mimosas. Paisley Park is about a half an hour drive from where we are. Our tour starts at 12.30. So we'll be leaving here around 11, 11.30ish because there's a mural. Um, that I want to get some pictures and that we want to get some pictures in front of. So it is, yeah, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. The trip has started. The, the flight was smooth. handsome wow i can't believe you gone oh, girl and it's been what it's been a while it's been a while 2 okay. pays park breakfast was so good as y'all can see we cleared every single plate so we just parked the rental car in the parking lot um so glad i got tickets online shout out to my mom for the heads up to make sure we get tickets in advance because they are completely sold out apparently tickets for all of the tours sell out like weeks in advance so i'm really glad that i 
listen to my mom <laughs> and got the tickets so check-in is at 12 10 it's 11 53 I'm about to take some footage of the outside and we're about to take some pictures before we start the tour I'm hoping that they let me bring my camera in if not I'll just get footage on my cell phone so let's go to Paisley Park you guys Sandwich yeah. is so good, Mom. Yeah, it's a veggie. So that's just like a uh, vodka soda, vodka lemonade, or you know, rum and coke. <laughs> Why did I think that was a catfish? Like that's your side salad. I know. <laughs> I thought it was like, <laughs> you like, know what I'm saying? Oh, that's lemon. Is this some fresh lemon? Yeah, so, you know, yeah, rum and coke, whiskey coke. Okay, y'all, so I am back home from Minneapolis. My mom and my sister went ahead and went home. They dropped me off, and um, I just went ahead and changed real quick into, of course, my T-shirt that I got from the gift shop <laughs> and some sweatpants, so I am, like, comfy cozy right now. And the gift shop had an amazing selection of items that you can purchase that goes to his estate, so plenty of T-shirts, hoodies, keychains, magnets, um, my mom got some leather gloves, necklaces, like anything you can think of that's Prince related, Purple Rain related, all of his tours and all of his music related, like they have something that you can buy in relation to it. I walked into the gift shop from the soundstage and was overwhelmed because I'm just like, 
I want to buy everything. Like, I want to take my credit card and just say, give me everything. Like, put it all on the card. Like, I got it. It's on me. <laughs> but I did not because um, we just paid quite a few of my credit cards off. And the last thing I want to do is obviously run them back up. I was ready to charge it all up for Prince, okay? Charge it up, run it up, run it up. But, um... Such a great trip and just wanted to record a quick kind of debriefing video because once we left Paisley Park I didn't get a chance to do a quick video because we were all just really wanting to take it in. I mean honestly it, it was a two hour tour and of course they took our phones upon entry I'll let you guys know. Um, so I couldn't record anything as we were going through the facility which I'm actually really glad that they did that because that allowed all of us to really take in the entire experience especially as a content creator I have had to kind of put limits on myself so when I did the Aruba vlog I would give myself 20 minutes to film get my angles get my pictures you know different angles different shots and then I will put my phone and my camera away and actually be in the moment and enjoy myself so I'm glad that they do take the phones and plus it preserves the exclusivity of the experience you know how it is when you can see stuff all on social media sometimes when you see so much content from different people you feel like well why go because I see all these pictures and videos I already know what to expect like it, it takes away the the element of the surprise of it all um but the, yeah the tour was 90 minutes or I'm sorry two hours um so 120 minutes and we saw we saw so much and we did the VIP tour we didn't do the full I think there's like a four hour tour and I think it's called the immersive experience we didn't do that one it was a little bit pricier um but I may go back and and get the higher up tier ticket so that I can see more but we saw so much so we saw all of his recording studios there were three recording studios and we toured all three of them and um that was really cool and in, in each studio they let us know the tour guide let us know which of his iconic songs were recorded in each studio which was so cool um it, some of my favorite songs were recorded in each and every single studio, which is just mind-boggling to me. Um, we saw his dressing room, so where he um, got fitted for all of his shows, like every tour, every performance, every guest appearance. He was fitted like in a particular room in his in that place in his home. Um, we sh we saw his shoe closet, y'all. Over six hundred pairs of shoes displayed. Um, but there are thousands and thousands more that are displayed elsewhere. So it was so awesome to just see his actual things. And sidebar, his clothes were so small. <laughs> I was like, L what waist? Okay, my waist could never, my my hips could never, ever, 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 my thighs could never, okay? Um, to see the outfits that he wore in, let me go ahead and sit down because I'm standing up. Um, to see like the outfits that he wore in some of his most iconic stage performances um, in his videos, right? So you got to see the jacket that he wore for 3121. If you guys are familiar with the album, the lighting is off here. I might just end up. If you're familiar <laughs> with the 3121 album, you know on the album cover he has a jacket and he is kind of facing backwards. We saw that jacket, saw the musicology, um, the, the musicology apparel that he wore, saw his Super Bowl outfit, which is still to this day, next to Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, one of the most iconic Super Bowl performances ever. Um, we got to see his wall of inspiration. So there's a mural that he has painted outside of, I think it was Studio B or Studio C. And it's just a wall of people. It's two, it's two sides to the mural. So on one side, he has a number of artists and musicians that have inspired him. And on the other side is a, like a number of musicians who he feels as though he's inspired. Which of course was way too short. I feel like he was being way too modest and too humble. And our tour guide actually said that. Um, and some of his biggest inspirations that he had on like his inspiration side was like James Brown, Sly and the Family Stone, Santana, who I, who I also saw in concert this past summer, which amazing. Like I love a guitar. Period. I love guitar players, a good guitar riff, a good guitar solo. Ugh, I live. Um, we saw like his kitchen area. We saw like his, his little entertainment space where he would throw parties and stuff. Um, 
and every room was just very very particular they say he designed the entire facility from top to bottom left to right like the whole thing was designed by him the artwork the murals the the colors on the walls like the way the studios were set up the equipment the instruments Oh, that's another thing. We saw all of his, well, not all of them, but quite a few <laughs> of his custom guitars, which was so cool. Um, I feel like I'm drawing a blank because it was just so amazing. But I highly recommend checking it out, if, especially if you are a Prince fan. But if you are like a rock and roll fan, if you know of his music and maybe you just want to do something different, highly recommend checking it out. Um, it really was awesome. Of course, like everything had like a purple, <laughs> a purple theme to it. Like there was this, um, I guess like a meditation room and the black light was purple and the meditating light was purple before he entered into the studio. It was supposed to be like a calming space for him before he went in and like did his magic. Um, it was just amazing. And as a I consider myself a creative <laughs> for the most part. Um, as a creative, what I took away from that trip is I really appreciated how he cultivated his entire home to accommodate and nurture like his creativity. Everything was to like uplift him and inspire him and motivate him. You can just see how everything was so custom and everything, every room, every color, every like symbol every expression had a purpose like nothing was just there because it was pretty or because it was cute it was to actually mean something like when you walk into the house and if you go to if you go to paisley park you'll see it he has like he had his eyes like his actual eyes painted on the um like the overhang like so as you're walking in you kind of see his eyes over like over you and apparently that was so he would always know what was going on in his home, which I thought was really cool. If you know me, you know I'm into Zodiacs. Prince was a Gemini. His entire house gave big Gemini energy. Number one, the entire place is, is uh, painted with clouds in the sky um, because he wanted to be reminded that the sky is the limit and that he can always aim and go higher, which since he's an air sign, I was like, oh gosh, this is so on brand. Um, and as an earth sign, I do feel like sometimes I can be super, super grounded and set in the ground. And I have been working on challenging myself to dream and think and, and believe bigger and higher for myself. So that was one thing that I really took away. And I feel like that's something that I did with my home too, is I created my house or how I designed it. It's a little messy right now. <laughs> but when I decorated it, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that when I was decorating my home, my new place about two years ago, I kind of uh, vlogged that on my Instagram stories and how I cherry picked everything so that my home is really comfy and cozy and it's a relaxing space. And I also have a creative space in my office where I record my normal YouTube videos. So like my resume tips, job search tips, LinkedIn tips is really designed in a way to inspire me and to give me ideas. I have journals all up and through there, all of my recording equi equipment, all of my ring lights, my box lights, my microphones. Um, everything it really was set up to be a creative space and I just love how he it really wasn't a home Paisley Park was more of an estate more of a facility because I, I'm sure he had a bedroom and we didn't get to see that part um, but we saw more of like his offices his studios and you know where he entertained and where he recorded his music where he kept his instruments like he created that entire I can't even remember how many square feet it was I'll look it up and I'll add it as text to this video um, but the entire place was designed to like nurture him and it was equipped with the best of the best so that he can put out the best, the best albums, the most quality music. Um, and as you all know, like he broke away from the record labels and he started releasing all of his later work, um, completely independently. And a lot of those albums and those songs were created in those studios and produced and engineered and finalized and the photo shoots were done there. Like he pretty much created that whole facility so that he would not need a record label for anything. Um, and he had complete control and ownership of whatever he created. And I just thought that was just so amazing. I mean, Prince was a genius <laughs> beyond measure. I 
am just in awe. Um, so yeah, once we left the facility, once we left Paisley Park and we got in the car, I wanted to do like a quick debriefing video, but the three of us, we were just so overwhelmed by the experience and just so just, I can't think of any other word but overwhelmed. <laughs> Cause we were like, we were speechless, but it's like, you know, we just got the talking and it was like, oh, what was your favorite part? What was my favorite part? And my mom and my sister, are not really big on being on camera. Um, they didn't mind making a quick appearance for this video, but they didn't want me to film, you know, like the whole thing and our conversations and stuff like that. Like we discussed what our favorite Prince songs were and, you know, our favorite albums and you know, all types of stuff. Um, and they, you know, I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that not everybody wants everything recorded. I respect everybody's space. So yeah, I wanted to do a quick debriefing video when I got back. So if you are, wanting to go to Paisley Park. If you're a creative, if you're a musician, if you're an artist of any kind, highly, highly recommend going. Like I said, even if you're not a super major Prince fan, if not just for the inspiration, um, everything in there was like symbolic and chosen specifically for a reason. And I just thought that was so, so cool. So I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. If so, go ahead and hit the like button down below and I will see you guys with another travel vlog that will be dropping soon. I wonder if you guys can guess where I'm headed to next. If you think you may know where I'm going next, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. Until then, I will see y'all next time. Bye.